Hello, this is John Grovenstein, and I'm going to talk about what feeds my spirit. And one of the things that gives me satisfaction and a little bit of fun is tumbling and polishing rocks. It's a long process that you have a definite start with something that's very rough and undistinguishable as a stone, and it takes you somewhere where you get something that's very nice and attractive and desirable when you're done. And all it really requires is a little patience. Um, but it is a process. So the first thing that we have to do is we have about four to six different steps that this takes. Uh, the first thing is that we have a tumbling cylinder. And in the tumbling cylinder you take a rock and both this is actually a piece of smoky quartz or you can even use a piece of amethyst and you put it into the cylinder and you begin by adding a coarse grinding step followed by a shaping step then a pre-polish Finally, a finishing polish that makes the rock shine. And then last but not least, you have a tumbling media that's ceramic that you add in with soap flakes to burnish and clean the stones. Now, I've started this and I'm kind of in the middle of steps number three and number four. And you start off with a piece of amethyst or other stone that looks like this and when you get to this step the intermediate step you begin to see that it's taken some shape uh, it looks a little bit different not as coarse uh, the edges have been knocked off and it's beginning to look like something a little bit different and this is one that I've been tumbling, some very interesting things, some rose quartz, spoky quartz, amethyst, and a piece of rutilated quartz, which you can see that little stripe in there is actually a piece of titanium oxide that's running through the quartz that's called rutilite, and that's why they call it rutilated quartz. So we tumble that and tumble that and tumble that and you get some very interesting things and very attractive stones but like I said it is a process so another thing that I like uh, is taking sometimes I'll get the stones that I have and I'll have them actually cut and you can recognize some of the things that I've gotten um, the first is amethyst and amethyst of course is a very purple you can see it kind of glowing there purple but it makes a nice purple gemstone. This is actually a North Carolina emerald. And you can see some of the emeralds in the rock. And North Carolina emeralds are a little cloudy, but you can recognize those as nice green emerald color. This is one we have a lot of. It's uh, aquamarine. And you look at it and it looks like it's just any old plain old piece of rock. But it actually is a very clear, pale blue um, stone when it's come out and finally the smoky quartz you can see that cuts out real nice you get a nice piece of smoky quartz another thing that in North Carolina you have rubies and rubies are kind of interesting these are rubies and you see they have the six-sided triangular uh, habit that they grow in and on the surface of some of these you can actually see the triangles that the crystals grow in so when you turn them over and you look at them through the flashlight you can actually see kind of that ruby colored glow. Let's see if I can find one that's a little better. There you go. You see the ruby colored glow coming from within. And all of them have this color. But what really surprises me sometimes is when I find something that I think is one thing, but it turns out to be another. And this brown stone looks like a ruby. It has the same shape as a ruby but it's brown and what that actually is is it's a brown sapphire that I have thought for years was a ruby and going back and looking I found something somewhat interesting that I wasn't expecting and that's the best part of all when you find something that you really didn't expect to find at all uh, thanks for listening bye now